If you want to understand where negative harmony comes from, the theory behind it, then watch 12 Tone's video. It's great. This video is about the how, and arguably the what, but not the why. So, first we need to understand flipping a note around an axis. An axis is just another note. Sometimes we define the axis using two notes, but all that means is that the axis is the midpoint between those two notes. So if I said the axis of C and E, that just means D. To flip a note around an axis, you take how far the note is above the axis, and you go that far below the axis, or vice versa. Negative harmony involves flipping around the axis of the neutral third. The neutral third is right in between the major third and minor third. It's a quarter tone, but don't let that phase you. The logic hasn't changed a bit. In C major, the neutral third is E half flat, right between the major third of E and the minor third of E flat. Say we wanted to flip F around that neutral third. Well, F is one and a half semitones above E half flat, so we go one and a half semitones below to D. Flip every note of a chord around the neutral third of the key, and voila, negative harmony. So it's pretty simple really, but it might get a bit tedious. Link in the description, of course, to this little app, but here's the example we just looked at. F flips around the neutral third of C to D. This is denoting the neutral third because that's the midpoint between C and G. But you can also do an entire chord, for instance. This is the classic example. G7 flips around the neutral third of C to D half diminished. But you could say, hey, what happens if we do that in the key of A or something like that? So it's a nice little tool, completely free to use. Link in the description. Remember to hydrate and thanks for watching. Wonderful.